This is titled Divine Mercy in the Hospital. You know, today I offered mass for a man named Walter. And about two years ago, three years ago, I meet this man in the hospital and he's a fallen away Catholic. And he got to know him a little bit over time. And he started to trust me. And But long story short, last April 14th, which was Divine Mercy Sunday, he asked to go to confession. So I heard his confession and I gave him communion. I let him know it was Divine Mercy Sunday. Um, and he received in, in again, I know, I know that you all know that the promise, those who go to confession and receive communion shall receive a full um, forgiveness of sin and punishment due to sin. And I'm, it's more than a plenary indulgence. It's the grace of a second baptism. You know, I'm always, I'm, I'm forever telling people that because I think most people don't get it. It's not a plenary indulgence. Yay. It's the grace of second baptism. I'm, Gold I'm, star, I'm, Father. <laughs> I, start, I start with that all. I mean, I, I, I claim that all the time and people still don't get it. Oh, it's a, it's a, no, it's a, it's a plenary indulgence. No, because a plenary indulgence, you need to have no attachment to sin. You don't, there's no attachment to sin and promise of that. So, so this was Divine Mercy Sunday. And, um, and I, gave, I heard his confession, gave him communion, even put and pray the chaplet. Um, again, remember, this is a fallen away Catholic. And his brother was very worried about him. Um, and then, um, and he died less than um, 40 hours later. Like, I mean, that was a Sunday evening, I think Tuesday morning he passed away, but it was less, it was like, so the communion was the last thing he had received. Um, again, fallen away. And so he had a, uh, he received the divine mercy promise. Awesome. Which is um, on divine mercy Sunday. Awesome. You can see receive my promises, my mercy Sunday. So, I mean, to me, my mercy Sunday is like, I don't understand like why the churches aren't full, why they're not, why they're not utterly packed. You know, it's, I mean, Jesus even went so far as to say that divine mercy Sunday is our last chance. Last, and if you, if you reject the, the promise of divine mercy Sunday, then, but again, I wanted to start with that because it was, um, again, a fallen away Catholic. And then his brother called me up and wanted me to celebrate mass for him on his anniversary, which is, which is the 14th. I just celebrated mass for today. But part of me thinks, you know, like if you really honestly believe in the promise, because he, the brother does, well, yes. I mean, forgiveness of sin and all punishment due to sin. That's the grace of a second baptism. So it's a little bit like offering mass for a baby who dies. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm sure, I mean, the graces are probably given before the facts, but, you know, I mean, let us trust in the promise. It's true, right? Let, let us trust the promise. I mean, I, I do. I mean, because, I mean, that's the promise, you know, in confession, receive communion and all punishment due to sin. So, I mean, so happy to celebrate Master because he's my friend. But I think in truth, you know, it's, it's a little bit to me like offering mass for a baby who just got baptized. Or person who just got baptized, you know, that they that promises that they have all received forgiveness of all punishment due to sin, which is get out of purgatory card, right? Yep. And it's not, and as you know, it's you know, it's the greater the sinner, the great the right to have to my mercy. So I've always been a uh, fan, not a fan, uh, a, a missionary apostle of Divine Mercy Sunday and Divine Mercy. 